Well, the FBI warning of an increase in sextortion schemes targeting kids and teenagers. On your side, Susan Campbell is here with the information you need to know. Parents, caregivers, educators, grandparents, everyone just listen up because this does affect so many people, sadly. Right, and that's the key. We want people to listen up, but this warning isn't meant to scare people. Mm -hmm. That's not our purpose here. We do not want to scare you. We want to arm you with information so you know what to watch out for to protect your kids. Your kid makes a connection online. Maybe it's through an app or a video game. They chat a bit, and soon the person asks your kid to send an explicit picture or video. A lot of the times what we see with young males is it happens pretty quick. Like, hey, I'll show you, your, you mine if you show me yours. And they'll get the 14-year-old male to send them nude photos. And then, you know, the 14-year-old is like, well, send me yours back. And they'll say, no, here is a screenshot of everyone you're following me or everyone you're following, and if you don't send me $100 to this PayPal, I'm sending it to everyone on your followers list. FBI Special Agent Emily Steele says victims of all ages are targeted. One of the primary places this is happening is on Roblox. I've had victims as young as six on Roblox sending nude content, and that happens because the older generation or the parental generation doesn't even know you can message on Roblox. According to the FBI, there have been more than 13,000 reports of online financial extortion of minors between October 2021 and March 2023. Of the 12,600 victims, most were boys. And the FBI says these crimes led to at least 20 suicides. It's shock, disbelief, anger, guilt, shame, um, all rolled into one. Maricela Savalas is a victim specialist with the FBI. She says it's important to start the conversation with your kids about what they're doing online, then keep talking. Hey, I heard on the internet, like TikTok, this dance is viral, or what does this mean? That can be as a gateway to ease yourself into these conversations. Who do you talk to the most online? Do you feel safe when you're in some of these communities? What are the things that you do to make sure that you feel safe or somebody said something that was hurtful to you? And see how that can open up and having that conversation. Conversations that could keep them safe. If your child is a victim of sextortion, the FBI says do not pay. These people will never stop asking for money. So you need to report it to law enforcement and then you can work with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children to have photos or videos that may be available online removed. So that is the key. Do not pay. Report this and also remind your kid mm -hmm. they're not at fault here. Mm -hmm. They are a victim right. in this case. Right. They didn't do anything wrong. You might be mad at the situation, sure, but you're not mad at them. Right. Yes, absolutely. I'm it's absolutely crazy to think as young as six this. years yeah. old. Wow. Well, and it is because we are so behind the times from our kids, right? Mm -hmm. They're on all these apps doing all mm -hmm. these things, yeah. and we're trying to catch up going, wait, what is that app? I've never even heard of that. Mm -hmm. Because as soon as we right. get, you know, one little piece of information to monitor one thing, they're on to the next. Gosh. It's, yeah. It is such a different world, which comes down to open communication with yeah. your kids at all times. All right, Susan, Susan thank, thank you. Thank you for that.